There's no doubt that 21st century man has come a long way from our hunter-gatherer origins. Good morning, it's Ryan here calling today to book the annual service on the boiler. In Britain today, we take food, shelter and warmth for granted. Can have a cappuccino, please? And most of us consume rather than create. I want to find out what happens if you strip man of all the luxuries and the conveniences of modern living and then force them to fight for their very existence. Thirteen ordinary British men have been abandoned on a remote, uninhabited Pacific island. With just the clothes to stand up in and a few basic tools. Spear! Get spear! Keep eyes on it, keep eyes on it! Hey, ah! And these guys are going to be completely alone, filming everything themselves. Can I pass the camera up to you? It just seems like it's jungle forever. When pushed to the extreme, does modern man have what it takes to survive? One wrong move. And this place will take you down. This isn't about talk, this is about action. Genuinely, it will take these guys to the edge. Can't believe right, it! Right. This is dangerous. Coming in, coming in, Grace! I really believe that deep within us all, we still have that survival spirit and instinct to overcome even the toughest of odds. Two days ago, I abandoned 13 men on the island to fend for themselves. From here on in, you're totally on your own. With only the closest stand up in. Three knives, three machetes. And a few basic tools. We've landed in the middle of an alien movie. Three of the men are trained cameramen but they will be living under exactly the same conditions as everyone else. Mate, it's the beach! So far, oh, yeah. they've established their beachside camp. I, I just can't see myself being able to sleep here. Made fire. You did it! Oh, my God! And sterilised stagnant water to drink. Looks like piss. Tastes a lot worse. Scorpion. But they've hardly eaten a thing. The reality is they're getting weaker by the minute. And if they don't find food soon, what is a hard situation is going to become an awful lot worse. Good morning. This is Tony Fletcher. Here we are, it's a bit like a war zone. Bodies all over the place. Here we have Ryan stirring. Morning, Ryan. How was your sleep? What is sleep? Let me tell you about the comforts here. There is none whatsoever. Sleeping in the sand gets in every orifice. Fucking covered, mate. So make no illusion, folks, this isn't a set put up by Channel 4. This is bloody real. Do you know, the next time I gently complain to my PA about booking me into a three-star hotel instead of a four-star <laughs> hotel, I just want somebody to punch me in the face. I'm properly hungry. Oh, yeah. I've got a knot Dandy. right there. I, I get little pangs every now and again. Every time, no. I, I thought that's because I needed a dump, but it wasn't. A hunger pang because you need a poo. Since being abandoned here, the men have found almost nothing to eat. I want to eat something. Yeah. Oh, mate, a big fat fry up would be epic, wouldn't it? It's day three and I'm starting to fantasise about food already. That's yeah. a bad sign, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's not a good sign. The average man needs two and a half thousand calories a day. Energy levels are dropping. I would eat a scabby horse in between two piss-soaked mattresses at the moment. Right. Sounds quite nice. Yeah, have you got that image? Yeah. That's how hungry I am. The problem with extreme hunger is your metabolic rate then drops, and your performance drops, and your decision-making ability drops, and you need both of those things to hunt effectively. You've got to be able to move, you've got to be able to think smart, and it can easily become this downward cycle. The hungrier you get, the less effective at hunting you get. I think, I think it's starting to kind of kick into people just 
quite how hard this is going to be. The uh, hunger pains are dying. We've got to keep going, get through these first few days and get what we need to kind of then make life comfortable. Otherwise, it's going to be like this the whole time. I've ensured the island has enough food and water to keep them alive, but only if they have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it, which is no easy task. The island's interior is covered in dense jungle and mangrove swamp, which is full of poisonous plants and potentially deadly wildlife. We've got to start using our eyes yeah. and our ears and, uh, you know, just figure out what this place has got to give us, because at the moment it, it, it feels like nothing. Yeah. Good luck. If the men can't find a safe source of food quickly, they won't have the energy to hunt and they won't survive. Oh, man. What are you trying to look for, Ryan? Limpets. Bits for the guys. Be careful. Wish I brought my shoes. Oh, fuck! Where are we going, dude? Tell the people where we're going. We're gonna get very hungry very soon. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I'm trying to catch something now. I'm I've got my bait here, the live hermit crab. Hey, let me zoom in on that, let me come in. There we go. Is that yeah. for the fish? Yeah, that's for the fish. He knows what's coming, that's why he's trying to get out. None of these men have any previous experience of surviving in the wild. Really, they can be a bit slippy. With only three machetes, three knives, and whatever debris they can scavenge for the beach, they're having to improvise. Okay, so I've made this four-pronged spear. Give to give bigger area for spear fishing, hopefully. And I'm just blackening the tips in the fire to try to dry them out and harden them. We have found some string. Uh. We've tied it to a little bit of a, a stick that's got a bit of flex in it. Yeah. And then we've fabricated a hook from a Coke can. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good hook. Thank you very much. It's time to kill Mr. Hermit Crab. Sorry, mate. This is pretty much a shot in the dark, but we'll see. And there goes my fucking bait. Nah. That was a massive waste of time. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I just pulled that bit of rock out. <laughs> oh, what are they? It's little snails. Nice. And ten oh, of these each. Ten snails each. But they're just—they're not enough, are they? It's not, I'm not Show us keep. that one. Well, it's tiny. It's not going to. No, exactly. It's not worth the energy of picking it out. No. If you think about it, how many calories have we burnt coming here? Yeah. More than a couple of winkles. Yeah, nothing. Desolate. What do you think to the fishing so far, Fred? We've already just been dangling, haven't we, rather than fishing? We don't want much. Just take, take the hunger away. It's absolutely beautiful here, but the beauty's taken away when you're trying to find food. And it's harder than I thought. The, the fucking pelicans seem to be eating more than I do. Leakage engineer Craig has been scouring the shoreline for food since dawn. Good find by Taffy. Proud of myself now. <laughs> Let's go eat, boys. Gentlemen, I present to you breakfast. Right. Craig hopes the group of fish he found can make a tasty lunch for the men. Still wet. It's not been dead long, but you can see it's dried up quite a bit. And... Oh, not bad. It smells, for bait. it smells rank. Not a chance I'm eating that. I mean, no. Nah. Sorry, mate. Let's keep that well yeah, out of camp. Yeah, well out of camp, mate. Wanna... It stinks. Yeah. That is minging. I think I'm hallucinating, I'm so hungry. Uh, we've gone out and looked for things and we haven't found any. But I haven't given up hope. In a last-ditch attempt to catch some supper before nightfall, Saki and Joe have their sights set on another prey. 
I think if he goes for them, yeah. they'll come over here and then I can go for them. Okay. Yeah. I could deal with the pelican right now. Bollocks. Shit. Saki yeah. yeah, spotted a stingray in the shallows. Keep eyes on it, keep eyes on it. Hang on. Keep eyes on it. If they catch it, it could feed all 13 men. But these fish can be deadly. Stingrays have these long tails, then with these pointed barbs on the stinger. This has got toxins in it. If you get one of these near your heart, it'll kill you. Yeah. And that other one has a really long, it's really a long yeah. sting, isn't it? That's a long <laughs> Despite the danger, Saki, Sam, and Mike are desperate enough to take it on. Oh, shit. OK, OK. Eyes on, eyes on, guys. Ah, he's there. Right. He's right in front of you. Put it along. Left, 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 left. Punch it, punch it, punch, punch it, it, punch it. Punch it. Get it. Go away. Yeah. Oh, okay. shit, look, he bro I broke my... Fucking I got on. right between his eyes, but it broke the spear. Uh... Well, it's... That's it's fed everyone, wouldn't it? Yeah. This is your dinner right here. But Jesus. Having risked their lives chasing the stingray, the only reward for the hunters is a couple of snails each. Wow. Uh. <laughs> oh. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> a bit weak. It's absolutely gutted. It's absolutely gutted. We don't, just don't know what else to do, really, because we can't find any bloody food. <laughs> I think part of the problem is no one can really tell everybody what the right thing to do is because I don't think anybody really, really knows what that is. Look like you've lost more weight, Saki. Hmm? Look like you've lost a little bit more weight, mate. Probably. After almost a week, the men have had precious little to eat, beyond a scorpion and a handful of snails. Yeah. I have no idea where the next meal's coming from. To the point where it hurts. It, it hurts stringing sentences together and, and just trying to find the energy to do things is it's now and impossible. I think, gosh, we've got another 25 days of this. <laughs> All present and correct. Stand at ease, guys. Stand up. No sitting down. You pay more attention when you stood up. After yesterday's failure to find a decent meal, 70-year-old ex-policeman Tony wants a group to try a more organised approach. The main things are three machetes, three knives, all sharpened. That's dealing with our tools. One thing I've noticed is there's a direct correlation between the age of a guy and the amount of faffing about you'd have to do. Repeat after me. Machete, Machete and knives. Return to the quartermaster. Great, guys. Thank you. We just wanted to get going and uh, search and find something useful. And we had to sit and wait and talk and talk and talk. I know you've got a plan, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. Let's go get some more, get some dinner for the guys. Yesterday, the men found little food close to their camp. So now they're planning to search further afield. Reporting for duty, Grandpa Tony. Carry on, Craig. Hup. The island has eight kilometres of coast with five beaches. Today, the men are going to explore the shoreline to the north and south of their camp. But they'll have to keep their wits about them. They're sharing the island with some dangerous foes. The Cayman crocodile is the ultimate prehistoric predator. Their mouths are lined with basically these razor-sharp teeth and they can bite with about 3,000 pounds per square inch. And that's three times as powerful as a hyena or a lion. More dangerous than any snake, scorpion or crocodile. 
is this fella, the Death Apple. And this is enough to kill not one man, but 20. And when you're surviving on an island, you're hungry, you see what you think is edible fruit, so tempting to pick it up, eat it. End game. Well, it's getting really hot now. It's just thick, thick, dense forest everywhere. But there's nothing, I can't see anything if we want something to eat. Food may be scarce, but the island does have bounty of a different kind. Look about, guys, because this is a huge resource. Dental hygiene <laughs> sorted! Don't go on the <laughs> The beaches here are littered with waste that's been dumped in the sea and carried here on the tide. Plastic bottles everywhere. Oh, look at this. We found a fishing net. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. These old nets, washed up on the beach, could open up the oceans to the men as a source of food. Good find. As they say, give man a fish and eats for a day. Give men a ton of fishing net, and he can have a crack of fishing. Gentlemen! Yay! Hey! Further down the beach, there's more good news. 28-year-old Saki may have found the lifeline the men so desperately need. <laughs> There's coconut. Can't hear anything. Fall to the fucking brim. Found a way of getting coconuts down. I, uh, I'm just finishing it off. It's worked a bit, but it's splitting. Look at that. What could possibly go wrong there? <laughs> Some coconuts up there, but that's a bit of an ask to get up there. <laughs> yeah, mate, that is ingenious. Whoa! The coconut good. saw. Mark one. Oh, hello. What's this? <laughs> It's good for the dead file. Yeah, Rupert, you, you might need Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Safety hat. We, hang, uh... on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Look, it's just made! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Way! Two! Well, should we have a celebratory coconut? I'd love one. Sweet and satisfying. So good. Coconut is incredible. There is a, definitely a reason that they call it the tree of life. Mm. Mm. It's like suckling from the teat again. <laughs> I never did I'd, it. I, I can't remember that far back, mate, I'm afraid. Uh, you never done it? What, sucking on a nipple? No, tried human breast milk. Um, no. No, I can, I can honestly say no, never. Well, it's not nice. Apart from coconuts, there are really very few other fruits on the island that these guys recognise. And even though coconuts are a good source of energy and fluids, if it's all you have, after about three days, it's going to start to give you diarrhoea, and then that's just going to dehydrate you further. There's only so many coconuts on this island, there's absolutely not enough for three a day for all of us who are at our state. Yeah. Right. So we can't just go, oh, we'll drink Crack coconuts. Crack them open, drink them and throw them. No, gotta... The coconuts have given the men a much-needed boost, but if they're going to survive here beyond a week, they're going to need protein-rich food and fast. I'm feeling the hunger pangs. Just to have, like, a form of meat in your belly is going to be immense. Not even meat, just real, like, proper food as opposed to little bite-sized mouthfuls of coconut. Matt, can you just put a drop of water in there for me, please? The men may not have enough food, but they do at least now have the means to brush their teeth. Dental business coach Chris has even improvised some toothpaste. What the F? I brushed my teeth with charcoal. No well. one's going to kiss me after this. Let's do this. Oh, my God. Wait, it tastes like egg. Mm. I feel so much better already. Here's a smile, Dino. Oh, Big honey. Win. Hello. <laughs> Hello, honey, this is horrible. <laughs> The men's goal for the afternoon is to put to use their newly found fishing nets. Yes. Can you see how I'm threading it through? Supervised by keen fisherman Mike. And then what we're going to do is tie floats to here. I am desperately, desperately want to catch you off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Desperately. You know, I'm running on empty and uh, it's, it's, it's hurting now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I think I've... Just, just a few big fish. Yeah. Oh, mate, mate. Yeah, it'd be just awesome. awesome for everybody. Good luck. 
This 30-foot net is the best hope the men have had so far to catch themselves a vital protein-rich meal. Yeah, keep this one up. Let, drop, the, drop the bottom one. That's it. Head sideways now. Yeah, you just keep, that's, that needs to be dragging on the bottom as much as possible. With the net set, the men's attention turns elsewhere. Has anyone had a wank since being here? <laughs> no energy, no time. No time. The last thing on my mind. There's time for a wank. Yeah. No what are you doing? Maybe. Did you cross my mind on the second day? Really? Maybe in the rocks a couple of days ago. <laughs> a rock wank. Rock wank. <laughs> Quite nice, actually. Sitting in the bay, watching the going to tree and You did this. this. Huh? You did this, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, damn right I did. <laughs> Mate, I've got a sex drive of a fucking you animal. You actually had a wank? Yeah, I've had a wank. <laughs> what, about them rocks? Over there. Near yeah, where I had a shit. Yeah. 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 Only once. Right, told me where you had right. a shit. Right, told me where you had a shit. Right, you both had a shit. I was just banging one out. Remind me not to go around there again. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, boys? It's now two hours since Mike and the men set the nets. Right, this is when it all gets tricky. Come together, come together. All the men's hopes for food today are pinned on a decent catch. Do you want another pair of hands? Just a gentle for the time being. I certainly hope they've got 13 big fish as a minimum. One for each guy. Cock. Well, that was shit, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Disappointing. Really disappointing. No fish. I thought we really had something going. But the, um, the fishing net, well, it gave us nothing at all. I am good at talking about fishing, but never put a net out to sea in my life. Yet, as the so called fish fisherman, I feel responsible. After an empty haul, the men face yet another long night with empty stomachs. Lamb shank with uh, mint sauce. Bread and butter pudding to finish yeah. it up. Like crumpets, I love crumpets. Yeah. Loads of butter on crumpets and they just melt and the butter. Oh. Treacle, treacle on crumpets. So good. Yeah. Driving me mad. <laughs> I can't hack it. I want to eat something. Oh my god. I've never been so hungry in my whole life. Just something in my mind then. Just click. That's it. I'm starving. Fuck. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh man. As soon as I get home. Chocolate spread, peanut butter and toast, and crackers and soft cheese and marmite cheese and crisps, tortillas, fajitas, fried chicken, club sandwiches, sub sandwiches. Man. Oh, fuck. Mm. I can't wait to get off this fucking island, seriously. I can't fucking wait. I'm gonna get one of those bastards. <laughs> it takes me all fucking months. <laughs> Look at them. They've got a rock we can chuck at them. After a few days with barely anything to eat, the men are now getting desperate. Give me a stone, I'm going to chuck it at him. No, I'm going to kill one. Dean, wait. Be stealthy. Chuck it, chuck it! Ah. Fuck! What was that? Bastards! I fucked it up again! What happened? I slipped as I threw it. I think I broke my hand. Oof. Really? Mm -hmm. 21 year old Ryan lives in Stockport with his mum and sister. Going to the island will be the first time I've lived anywhere else other than, other than Stockport. 
Um, I'm excited to see a different type of life and I think it could make a man of me. I did walk really far once with no shoes on and that was very challenging. I'll be honest, I punched the sand. Oh, no. It was a lot harder than I was expecting. Oh, no. And do that, it looks like it's down here, doesn't it? Dr Sam confirms Ryan's suspicions of a broken knuckle. So this is called a boxer's fracture. Do, yeah. do it punch the sand again. Yeah. It hurts I think, there, I think, I'm it? just so annoyed with myself, cos... Were you annoyed, well, annoyed with the sand as well? I was annoyed with myself. So you punched the sand? Yeah. No, I don't um, want to punch myself in a survival no, situation. No, no idea. That's the last yeah. thing you want to do. After a broken hand and another missed meal... I, I just want... <laughs> the consequences of the men's failures are becoming more and more apparent. Some of the lads just seem to be wasting away in front of me. I don't know if other people are noticing it. And I'm not going to mention any names. Some of the lads that don't have much to lose, they're getting really thin. We're 13 strapping blokes. We're going to need a feed and um, at the moment wondering where that's going to come from. So I think we're going to have to, you know, man up, get those machetes out, uh, head inland, and just answer the question that really is troubling us all at the moment, which is where is the real food? The next few days will be critical as the men use their last reserves of energy to try and hunt down the island's meatiest prey. So we're going to head down to the mangroves and see if we can see a caiman. I just saw a massive iguana head upland that way. Mate, I'm up for whatever it takes to find this food. Oh, I know. This is our first night excursion. We're into new territory. Funky noises happening tonight. Simmons. You can see some? No, but I'm sure we will. Oh. Where are they? These look like limes. There's more. Right, fingers crossed. For a good old harvest of fish. Yeah. Feeling just shite. Failure after failure. <laughs> Barney, you guys look knackered. <laughs> no caiman. No. With nothing to show for days of energy sapping hunting, the men are on the brink. Food is a lot scarcer than we had anticipated. Um, that's going to slightly test our spirits, but then we, we always knew it wasn't going to be holiday. You know, we're not, not asking for the moon on a stick, we're just asking for fish each or half a fish each, you know, that's, that's all we need. It's been bloody tough for me. It's been really hard. Uh, no energy whatsoever. Even had to my mind about uh, leaving the island. So far, every attempt the men have made to catch fish with their nets has ended in failure. You think our looks changed? Today? Yeah. Time will tell, mate. I know in about 10 minutes, but um, I desperately hope so, mate. This time, to improve their chances of a catch, they've left the nets out all night. Wow. Did you get away, lads? Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, we've got a net full, mate. You're joking. Don't them off. Pull them out, pull them out. Look at that. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at these bad oh, boys. Oh, Whoa! Fish! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, shit. Beauty little catfish. Oh, nice. Look at that. Plenty on him. He'll get out of Mate. Oh, happy day. I'm going to have a full belly to now fish. That's cheered everybody up, hasn't it? Yay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful oh, fish. Right. We're going to be eating fish for dinner tonight. Flipping great. So relieved. I'm so relieved. The mood of the camp is just lifted.
Two of the group's youngest members, Dean and Ryan, are given the honours of gutting the fish. This is different to cutting yeah, someone's have you, have you hair. Got in there, yeah. Shove it in and saw it through. Doing it for the team. That's it, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Grab it. Oh. That's it. <sighs> We've salted it. A little bit of lemon juice on it, nice salted lemon juice on there. We're going to wrap them up. As the men eagerly await their fish supper, thoughts turn to home. I'm craving titties, man. I miss them so much. <laughs> I like little small titties. Short, sometimes elfin-like, and quite androgynous. <laughs> Just tiny tits. I, I worry about you even more. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not in the closet? <laughs> I like petite girls with big boobs. I like big, big bush. What? Oh, no. Great, oh, great big eight, great, great big eighties bush. Oh, not going down the legs, but uh, shy of that, as big as possible. <laughs> I think it's nice to know that you're having sex with a mammal. That's all. Like it's not, and, and an adult mammal. <laughs> anyway, I should be careful. I'm saying how I like hairy minges. <laughs> <laughs> After days of desperation and hunger, the men can finally eat. Oh, hello. So this is the fish, parcelled up, expertly by Fletch. So just take them up, eh? Oh, that looks nice. That looks Move the part, mate. Oh. That's a really weird texture. It just like, disappears into a kind of mush, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That was possibly the worst fish I've ever tasted in my life. It doesn't taste right for some reason. I think it's right. <laughs> it's because we didn't drop the guts out quick enough. Oh, man. Left dead in the nets for too long, the fish have started to decompose, and their long-awaited supper is inedible. So disappointing. Gutted. That's like right, poo. It's a poo fish. I think you hit the nail on the head there. It does taste like poo. This place looks like paradise. It's actually a bitch. It really is. Jesus God, when I signed up for this, uh, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't realise it was going to be this hard. Thank you very much. Thanks so much, Belle. There's a, there's a slow acceptance that we've got a, a long way to go yet, and uh, it's all uphill. The reality of island life is biting. You know, it's easy to be positive and upbeat and enthusiastic when you've got lots of energy, but when you're sapped of it and you're experiencing failures, it becomes a kind of spiralling downward circle of lack of food, Lack of morale, lack of energy. Come on, nature, give us some food. This morning, Rupert and Saki are heading to the mangroves, where they set one of the group's nets. We definitely crossed here. We yeah. went that way. Yeah. If they don't find food today, their time on the island may well be over. Oh, this is the second riverbed. So this is where we were. When the tide's in, these mangroves are teeming with life. The tangle of roots are a breeding ground for many animals, like reef fish, turtles and the caiman crocodile. The tide's out, isn't it? Yeah, there's no water here today. Yeah. Okay. Nada. I wouldn't call it riddled with fish. All right, let's get the net up. <laughs> right down in. Something happened here last night. Something fucked the net. That is snapped, yeah. This is so fucking Caymanville. This is where Cayman has a serious advantage. There's a skitter across the top. Lives to fight another day. Rupert and Saki must return to camp with nothing but a broken net. Let's go. This ground is so treacherous. Oh, this, they came in right there. Holy shit. Holy shit, the bed, man. He's watching us. Mate, he was so, he was right next to us. He was. Fucking hell. Just, sorry, this is what we're talking about. That's a big one. That's dinner for days, mate. Oh, I got this. No, no, get the string. We'll yeah, make yeah. a noose, make a noose. 
A few days ago, Saki and Rupert couldn't have imagined they'd be confronting one of nature's most fearsome predators. And I'm going to take that motherfucker down. Armed with just a piece of string. Hello, mate. You're going in my belly tonight. We need to hurry because you've got to start warming up. Yeah, no, no. I don't worry. I'm doing this one as quick as I can. Mate, he's growling. Yeah, he knows, he knows, he knows. You just get it on both of them and bring slowly. If you can get it on when it's closed. That's it, that's it, that's it. No, oh, no, no, get both. Get both no, no, closed. No. It's all right, you've got him, you've got him. You've got him. Got him. Well done, well done. You got him. It's five feet almost. I hope the yes. cord holds, because uh, he's looking at me in a way that is not let's be buddies. These came with crocodiles and grow to up to about 15 foot in length, but even small ones, you know, they're just a bag of powerhouse and muscle. And what they do if they get hold of you, their instinct is immediately to roll. They call it a death roll. And if it's a small one, it will literally rip chunks of flesh out of you. And if it's a big one, take whole limbs off in that roll. All right, we've got it. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, you just ripped that. that See what that'll do to your leg. That, if that Came was your... up in for a second and he just smashed that twig right. to bits. This guy pulls like a bitch. Yeah. Oh, he's death rolling now. He's death rolling, yeah, yeah. Come on, get him out. Stay. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Okay. Keep him there, keep right, him stop, there. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to get the bottom draw. Before being abandoned, the men only had one day survival training, which included a basic technique for animal trapping. That's it. Got it. Yeah, you see, now we can't roll. Yeah. OK. Now drag him out into the open. Hold on, That's hold on, it. hold on, let yeah. me get a good grip. Let, let him roll, let him roll. That's let him roll. It. Well let him roll. Let me get a grip. Drag him out into this open. Hang on. He's got his leg behind that tree. Perfect, perfect. Hang on, hang on. There we go. This is a shame because here. then he can't. Yeah. Well done. All right. We've got him in the shade. Okay, you got cool. him? Do you want to take both? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to watch you. Yeah, you've got him. You've got... Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. You've got him, you've got him, you've got him. You've got him. You've yes. got him, mate. You've got him. Hands on the hands on the hands on over the eyes well of the door. Push it right that's on it, that's, that's it. it. Just hold it together, that's it. That's it. And then loop it. You got him. Ah yes, mate. You got him. <laughs> that's what you call teamwork. Well Job done. done. Well we've got to get him home still. Nah, mate. Saki and Rupert will take the Cayman crocodile back to camp, where they'll decide who will kill it. I mean, I hate killing things. I really do, but... But we need to eat, mate. We are hungry. So this, this is a kind of bittersweet. There's an incredible elation of having jumped on the back of a caiman, yeah. knocked it to the ground um, and caught it, and the whole little hunt and all that stuff was just fucking exciting. Um, but I also feel bad that we're going to go and stick a knife in this guy's head and eat him, but it's the way of the world. After I think want. he's lost the fight for now, but I yeah. know oh, he's moving. Because we don't want to kill these things. But at the same time, we don't have anything. We have no food. We've got empty nets, as far as we know. And this will feed all of us. It takes you back to nature, being out here. You've got to eat, no matter what you think about. Slowly but surely, the inner savage is revealing yeah, itself. Okay. Guys, we're done. Sorry, because <laughs> I was like... And this is the one time that I yeah. wish I had my phone with me to take a picture and be like, look at what we've got! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom, look at that. Boom ting. This is nuts. This is absolutely fucking nuts. Mate. Jesus. Come on, you fucking Stay. Get out, get out, get out. You got him. You got him, mate. After days of fruitless searching, Rupert and Saki have caught a Cayman crocodile in the mangroves on the far side of the island. We evolved to run away from these things. Yeah. The fear that kind of stirs in you. It's a primal need to get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, hello. That is a fucking caiman. Yeah, they're yes. punching the air. Shut up. They've got a fucking <laughs> caiman. Shut up. Go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Here they come. They're running. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we feast like kings. Yeah! yeah. What a beauty! That's a big fucker. Still alive. We haven't butchered him yet. Yeah. 
Great, Great. fucking congratulations. Yes, buddy. It's like my bit came in. What happened? Mate. Rupert jumped on his back and had his jaws. We got two ropes on him. Yeah. And then held him, pulled him out. We had to pull him out and make him. He ripped his branch open. He went for a branch and just... Like the size of your arm. Just Yeah, mate. Just took it out. You absolute legends. Real. Yeah, mate. Wow. Well done, lads. All right, lads. Well done. Well done. Mate. Back in camp, the hunters show their catch off to the rest of the group. Yeah, Cheers, gentlemen. Tonight we shall that's feast. Right, that's right, boys. And maybe even breakfast as well. Look at the meat on that one. That's amazing, guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, you. Yeah. I'm sure we'll all get a gate over when we're done. Good on you, Wes. Well yeah, well done, fellas. I want, I want to catch a crocodile. That's my main goal for the island, but probably not going to happen. No, you, you can't do it by yourself. No. No way to... We were both a little jittery. The thing yeah. is about it being strong is you're fighting for dinner. That's fighting for its life. Yeah. Yeah. The men must now decide who's best suited to kill the croc. Dan knows what to do, I think, with that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, but Dan said Joe should do it. Yeah, should kill it? it. Yeah. He said Joe should do it because Joe's like the animal expert. I want to be here when that happens. A beer? I want to be here when right. that happens. Well, I want to be here when that happens. They've nominated 23-year-old Joe, who's lived on a farm all his life. Have you butchered stuff before? <laughs> Off the um, record. <laughs> he wants to say right, yeah. Uh, he does, uh, hurts. Yeah, he does. I've done a little bit in the past. Yeah, really hard. True. How do you feel about killing this animal? Yeah, I'm nervous, to be honest. Yeah. Very worried. Mate, you don't have to do it if you don't want it. Oh, well. Yeah. So if you don't want it, I'll do it, mate. If, you, if there's any... You have any issues, Paul? So there's a spot. It's just there. See the back of the skull? Yeah. So you've got to get in there and just on the hill and just jam it in straight into the brain. Put all your weight on him because yeah. he will kick. You ready? Yeah. That's it. That's it. You got him. You got him. Yeah, yeah I think he's dead. He's dead, mate. He's, good. he's dead. Stop. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. See? Quick and painless. Good he's job. Balls. Well done, pal. It'll twitch it. for, for approximately two hours right. after, yeah. after it's dead. Yeah, that's just muscle tissue. Yeah, that's yeah. me and you. We yeah, all will. Just... How are you with that, Ryan? You right? Was done very, very humane, yeah? I think as a society we've become so sanitised about, you know, food and we're so used to going to a supermarket and you pull something off the shelf and, you know, it's meat and you might not even know what sort of meat it is. It's nicely pre-packaged and you take it home and you never think about where it's come from, that an animal has been slaughtered to feed you. I thought I valued our life like the same, like anything from a scorpion to a human being, but seeing that and understanding it just... Shut me over the edge a bit. Mate, it's the first time any of us have seen that, so... I know, it's just affecting me, that's all. No, totally, it's affecting me as I well. I don't um, believe it was done the most humane way possible and everything, but... Yeah, it's still one of these weird things. I don't know why, it's doing the same... It did the same thing to me. Yeah, I don't know why. I even caught the damn thing, so I don't know why. I don't know. I feel sorry for the little bastards, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mate, that is just oodles of pure, beautiful meat. Jesus, look at that. Oh, that's just pure, pure meat, mate. He's done us proud, that came in. Huntsman Saki has the honour of beginning the feast. I'm about to have the first taste of the cayman. It smells like heaven. Wow, well, <laughs> look at that. Golden brown and white underneath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Is it good? 
You have no idea. What's it like? What's it like? It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> oh, baby. Mate, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take that. Uh, this thing. Oh, it's so meaty. Oh, man. Mate, it tastes like a kebab. <laughs> good kebab or bad kebab? Like, like a good kebab, right? Like, good like kebab. a chicken shish. Okay. My body is just saying, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's been flaking a bit today, but that is just in time, really. Tonight, for the first time, we're a tribe. Uh, not a bunch of guys who've been chucked on an island. We're actually a tribe today. Everybody's done the bit. Everybody's had, oh my god! Everybody's had a corner. Everybody's had a job to do, and everybody's got on with the job. And we tonight, we're a tribe. Um, oh, my belly's so full. It doesn't take long for the men to feel the impact of their first meat meal. Can I borrow someone's head torch, please? You going for poop in the sea? I'm not doing the scene, no, I'm gonna go and uh, dig a dig a hole. You better go down far away from camp, because somebody shat near the camp there and I can smell it. Yeah, that's Where? Bad. Somewhere so whoever shits in the wood has been shitting too near the camp. Well it wasn't me. Mate, I've shat in the sea. <laughs> I've had a shit on top of a Scottish mountain before. I had a shit overlooking the Grand Canyon. I had a shit in a car park. <laughs> Next on the island, Henry! Tempus Flare. What the fuck are they doing? What, what did you just fucking do a wanker sign towards me? Fuck you! If they don't start looking after each other, they haven't got a cat's chance of making it at the end of this month. We failed on the soft approach. Tell and what, what are you proposing as a hard approach? Oh. To make the lad feel like a twat? We can't help him. So we, I suppose we've just got to say our sweet goodbyes. Ryan! Ryan! 